welcome to my channel. My name is Karin. I'm from Extraordinary Fitness and this is Gabriella. She's my student and we are going to show you today a little flow which we will explain step by step. It's the Russian going into a little drop which can also be a slide in the beginning and then we end with the martini. Yeah, so it's from the top going down. But before we start, I want to remind you, subscribe to my channel, give us a thumb up, leave a comment below and share it with others. So I want the aerial community to grow. Gabriella starts in a sitting position. Her hands are at one o'clock and 11 o'clock because she will have to go through the middle. So you have to have it wide enough so your hips get through, but also don't have it too wide. So you feel like it's unstable because it will be the same grip which you are having for your Russian split. The other thing you can consider is which leg you are going to take to the back because that's the leg you will place the knee on the hoop. You don't need to put both knees and then get to the feet and then go through. I see many people do that, but it's actually unnecessary. It's enough if you put one knee and then place the foot and then directly pull your leg through to the Russian. But we will see it now when she's doing it. So she's going to use her right leg going to the back. So let's start. So she's also, one more thing, she's crossing her legs when she goes through. It's easier to get through the hoop instead of having them tight. She places her right knee on the hoop, puts her left foot there, and is pull going with your upper body towards her knees, pulling the leg through to a Russian split. Yes, nice, really nice. From there, she's going to put the leg, which has been in the back, into the back of the strop. So she's kind of uh, flexing it for having a better grip. And then she's keeping her head towards the leg, bending this leg and putting it to the front. So this leg, she's crossing over the front. And then she's making sure that her head is directly placed on the side, on the opposite side of the leg, which bent up there. That's really important. She takes both her hands to the front, having them in front of her body. And this leg is bent, the other one is straight. Next part will be that she takes this leg out towards the back and she kind of slides off the hoop and sliding down really nice into a delisha. From there, she is pulling herself up and bending the arm, the same arm like her leg over the hoop. So she's going into this elbow position. The other leg, which has been straight, goes around into the front of the foot of this leg and she grabs it from the outside. So she's grabbing it on the knee or on the thigh. This is a little bit depending on you. She's releasing the other hand and she is in a martini. Yes, very nice. From there, she's taking the free hand back releasing the leg and hand and then she comes into a straddle pipe and then she can continue or she can go upward. Uh, yeah, so this was the whole routine. One thing which I can tell you, because maybe you are in your school or somewhere and the hoop is not perfectly your size, like this hoop is a little bit big for Gabriella. So in my tutorial, in my previous tutorial, when I explained this drop, you are actually placing your shoulder on the bottom of the hoop and you have bent your top leg on the top. But what can happen is that you don't reach your shoulder there or you can't really place your top leg in the knee pit then i recommend that you bend your top leg so you get properly in the knee pit because that's the place where you're going to slide and it doesn't matter like for gabriella it's the same she is not really touching with her her upper with her shoulder the hoop she only has placed her hands she has her head leaning against the hoop and that's enough because you anyway for doing the drop you have to lift yourself a little bit off the hoop you are going around and down so it's more important that you're hanging well up there and coming from the Russian, you can hang yourself in right up there. Put the head on the right side. You are going to slide towards the side of your head. So this is a small thing which can be otherwise like, oh, I don't reach here. Should I straighten my leg now? Then I can't do the drop. Or should I not care about the shoulder contact? Don't care about the shoulder contact and you will be fine. This is the whole little routine. It's a small like working yourself from top of the hoop down. You can use it for any of your sequences. I really hope you like it and see you next Wednesday for a new tutorial. Bye.